Hello everyone. My name is Sachit Mishra and today I'm going to give a presentation on a topic which is second level digital divide, a longitudinal study of mobile traffic consumption imbalance in France. This case study I have done under the guidance of Professor Marco Fiore and Dr. Smureda. Before going toward to know and discuss about second level digital divide, let's talk briefly about the motivation factor. As we know that, Society development is a continuous process, and this process could be achieved by government policies, technological development, and infrastructure development. Let's talk about technological development. What has technological development given to us? It has given to us today's digital world. With the help of that, we can connect, we can do trade, and we can work online. But the question arises, why we need society development? What policies and infrastructure help us to achieve? It helps us to achieve equality. This equality could be in terms of gender equality, or it could be in terms of economic equality. But today we want to talk about digital equality. In order to know what is digital equality, we first need to know what is digital inequality or digital divide. Digital divide. It is basically a gap between those people who get benefit from ICT or those people who do not get benefit from it. And we can categorize digital divide into two parts. The very first one is access divide, which is also known as first level of divide. As the name suggests, suggests access, it is basically driven by the availability of the resource. For example, if there is the availability of infrastructure of 4G in any region, then only people who belong to that region can avail that facility. Because of this factor, this is very easily detectable in any region. The key information of this type of divide is basically it is closed in developed countries. Now, the second type of digital device is quality of use of divide, which is also known as second level of divide. And this type of divide is very hard to detect in any region. It is because this occur when there is a disparity in the quantity or quality of use of digital services. So we can also say that it is basically driven by the digital skill that people possess in that region. Now let's move toward our case study. This statement, nationwide mobile service consumption in is basically summarizes the focus of our study. Here, nationwide means that we will be comparing whole nation at once, and the spatial granularity for our analysis is individual cities. Mobile service basically means that we will be targeting only mobile cellular data for our analysis. So all the assumption which we're gonna make during our analysis is basically based on mobile cellular data. Then consumption basically try to depict the type of divide which we are looking for. Here, we're gonna calculate the difference in the volume of data traffic generated per capita in the cities of France. Then of course, our study is based on data. So we have gathered data from two sets of data from two different sources. The very first data is mobile cellular data, which we got from Orange. And we all know about Orange that it is one of the biggest telecom giant across the whole world. In France only, it has 34% of market share. And it is assumed that, that this 34% of market share is uniformly distributed across whole France. From Orange, we got daily traffic at each base station. Then we have collected demographic data set, which we have collected from the source National Institute of Statistics and Economics of which of which also which is also known as INSEE. From there, we have collected two different sets of definition of cities. One is Samu, which is basically a region which is governed by municipality of that region, and another is urban unit, which is basically based on the built up area definition. Here, minimum population should be greater than 2000. The reason why we have taken two definitions of cities is because there is no commonly accepted definition of cities in any literature. So we have taken two most standard definition of cities from INSEE, and it helps us to check the robustness of our model. 
by that i mean that whatever pattern we gonna observe in one set of a definition of a city whether the same pattern of we gonna observe in a different uh, set of a definition of city or not then finally have having more than 2000 population we are more or less covering 70 to 75% of total population of france now we have a demographic data and mobile data and we need to join it together to perform model analysis the very first step what which i did is perform modeling of spatial coverage of base station into its rural range and this is a very well known practice in the literature according to the according to the literature in a in a rural way there is a uniform distribution of traffic in this example white dot i represent the base station i and the orange contour which surrounds base station i is it its rural way now we have taken uh, uh, administrative contour j which is represented here in dark color and once we have both we perform weighted spatial interpolation by that i mean that we have assigned only that portion of a traffic into administrative unit j which is basically covered by voronoi i once we have all this small small portion of uh, traffic associated to administrative unit j from different voronois we collated it all and got daily traffic for each administrative unit and now we have our data and then we started performing model analysis from the past literature we came to know that there is a existence of power law relationship between traffic and population although the spatial granularity in those literature were different than ours but it makes sense to start with power law equation to test our model in this particular equation t represent the total traffic associated for administrative unit i and t basically tells the population associated to that administrative unit i the objective of this equation is to find the value k and alpha where k represent the baseline per capita traffic and alpha reveals unevenness among the cities by that i mean that if alpha value is greater than 1 it means that people or inhabitant who live in a big city are going to consume more traffic than people who live in a small city and vice versa if value of alpha is less than 1 like all model analysis we also face modeling challenges the very first model uh, model challenge which we faced was irregularity in data which occurred basically because of different tra different traffic dynamic over weekends and weekdays so we have taken only weekdays for our analysis we also encountered some spurious artifact while performing weighted spatial interpolation between voronoi and demographic data one of, one of the example i am showing here here very small part of the voronoi actually met with administrative unit and in reality base station or antenna are supposed to cover center of the city or major portion of the city but in this example base station is basically represented by voronoi and the area which the area of the overlay which overlaps with administrative unit is very less which ultimately leads very less traffic to that administrative unit in order to identify this type of artifacts we leverage dancer which remove this type of artifact from the data set then like all regression problem we also pay, uh, like all we we like in all regression problem there is a uh, we also face headless scarcity problem in the it, it occurs because of that like in france we have only one marseille one paris one lyon but hundreds of hundreds of small town which have very less population and in and which we are showing in this graph of com uh, complementary cumulative distribution function where we can see from 2000 from 2 to 100000 uh between 2 to 100000 there are so many cities but from 100 to 500 500 or 1 million per population we have only few cities because of that when we fit the model we get the biasing while fitting the model and in order to get rid of this problem we use known bin technique where we bin the data on the log population and fit the model i am showing one of the example of the fitting uh, results where we can see and he, in this example we can clearly see that the fitting on the bin data is 
very far better than the fitting on the raw data. And once we fit the data on the bin data, we got our results and we got our parameters. Let's start the result analysis and parameter analysis. By looking on the law, uh, Pearson correlation value for different experiments which we conduct during our analysis, which ranges between 0.8 to 0.9, we can clearly say that our power law hypothesis holds true even at country scale. Then we always find that uh, the value of alpha is greater than one in all our experiments, which basically tells that there is quantity of use of divide or second level of divide across class. This means that if uh, that inhabitant who lives in a big city, they are going to consume more traffic than inhabitant who lives in a small city. Inequality, if you want to say that the people who lives in a city which has 1 million population are going to consume twice the traffic than the people who lives in a city which is a population of 10,000. Then we deeper for deeper analysis, we conducted this experiment at each service level. While performing this experiment at each uh, by, by performing this experiment at each service, we find that there is an existence of imbalance in traffic at, at service level also. And we find that the value of alpha is always greater than one. But this value is, uh, is different for different services. So we can say that there is an existence of second level of second level of divide. Uh, across different services, but with the diverse in intensity. Fortunately, we have a data for different years. So we were able to perform longitudinal analysis of this experiment. We have a data set from 2014 to 2019. Although we don't have a data set for 2015 and 2018. So when we conducted this experiment from 2014 to 2019, we find that there, there is a growing value of multiplier k. And this is more or less very obvious fact. Because as uh, as the 4G techno technology uh, uh, improves across whole France, the availability of the infrastructure also improves across, across whole France. This helps people to use more digital services and more uh, use more mobile services. But what is not very obvious that the growing value of alpha which basically tells that across four years, this divide has widened. If we talk about in quantity, we can say that a city which has 1 million population, where the growth of uh, consumption traffic per capita is 26% higher than the people, uh, than the city which has one uh, 10,000 population. I'm showing the same result by computing the compound annual growth rate map for urban use from 2000 from between 2014 and 2019. Here, the big cities are represented by black dot. And we can clearly see that from in these black dots, the growth of uh, uh, per capita traffic consumption has increased 75%, while the smaller cities, the growth is almost around 30 to 50%. And finally, from our whole analysis, we can conclude that there is a growing imbalance. There is a growing imbalance in per capita traffic consumption in France across the year, which then which can have which leads to the speculation that there is an existence of second level of divide. We also conducted uh, experiment on uh, uh, that where we have found that social economic indicator and 4G coverage, which we have explained in paper in detail were not able to explain the cause of this effect, which lead us to a speculation that, the, that people who live in a big city, they have more affinity to use mobile services or digital services. And in future, we're gonna use more complex model, which gonna, in which we're gonna use more social indicators. And this will open the path for understanding the cause of this phenomenon. Thank you. And I'm happy to take your the questions now. Thank you, Sashit. It was a really enlightening talk, especially especially because of the topic. And it's really so okay. So to my understanding, I may actually have a couple of questions, but let's see if the audience, someone may may want to go first. Uh, let me put uh, my headphone because I have uh, some problem of noise. Uh, okay, sure. 
can I can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. So, any question in the audience? Also, feel free to write it down on Zoom, and we can read it in case in the chat. So, okay, I will start first. My my question is like. Assuming that we, we, we can actually quantify this inequality, right? So auditing the system is kind of really relevant in the sense that you will perform a really, really large scale analysis and it's really good indicator to how the, the way that this distribution in, let's say, consumption is quite different, right? That there is a huge inequality. I was wondering, do, do you think it can be framed as a, as a sort of, uh, you know, alarm for policymakers, right? Which, how, how do you, how do you imagine, so like I said, a perspective, a, a sort of perspective in the question, like how do you imagine this analysis can help design, I don't know, like it can have, have an impact, uh, like um, in, the, in the practical, like uh, let's say mitigating those effects. That's, that's my question. Like if you, if you can think you can stop, let's say this inequality to happen, or you can actually have some practical, yeah, actions reduce those uh thanks francesco for the question i think it's a very interesting question because uh, and this is more or less like theoretical question also think that uh, uh how all we are, because as the 4g technology improves what we are expecting in any country or more or less like in developed country that uh, this divide should go reduce but and uh, we, what we find that that is there is a very uh, this divide actually widened across the year, which is basically the opposite of the things which we are supposed which are which we are assuming. Like if we are if we have the like if we have the availability of the technology, uh, then we can we we can clearly say okay there is no uh, first level of divide. But if we don't, but if if the divide basically occurs because of uh, digital is still possessed by the individual, then it, the only way we can combat it that, that we should improve uh, the people who live in a small city or a small town to use more and more uh, uh, mobile services or digital service. The things which I think uh, will help us a lot to speculate the data set of uh, COVID data. Because in, okay. that particular, in that particular state, the people, tend to move to their native states and from there they start working from home the very first phase and second phase of the covid so it would be very interesting to study that analysis and then we can come up with a very thorough perspective where how to combat it or also what could be the reason and uh, how the mobility factor also affected so all these things are like a, a path of study which it opens yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I understand your point. Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for the answer.